Hey friends and parents, June marks the beginning of an epic summer on Disney Plus, who is sponsoring today's story with fun-filled adventures like Disney's Baymax, Sneakerella, Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, as well as Ice Age, Scrat Tales. Definitely looking forward to our summer Friday family movie nights where we grab the pillows and the popcorn and oh, good times. Oh, and definitely Baymax. Kind of wish Baymax was on the spy team. How about you? Well, friends, all of these and more streaming this month on Disney+. Plus. Hello, friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Do you guys know I have another podcast called Kids Short Stories? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's where we have a ton of fun doing all kinds of awesome adventures, and we even have a spy team that you can be a part of. So make sure that you check out that podcast, Kids Short Stories, after this one. Well, friends, are you ready for part two of Ava and Xander's crazy adventure across the pond? Me too. Let's go. Later that day, Xander, Ava, and their family went back to their nest, their old nest. It had been destroyed by foxes looking for eggs. And there were no eggs there, so they just left a very big mess. Oh, man, look at all this stuff. They ruined all my paintings, and... Oh, man, I'm going to have so much work to do now, said Xander. (gasps) And my doll, she's ruined, said Ava. This was a complete disaster. They did not expect this happening. came out of nowhere. But it's a good thing that their whole family was safe. As they packed up the little that they could find that wasn't damaged, they swam across the pond. Yeah, pelicans are pretty good swimmers. They got little webbed toes and feet that make them zoom across the water. Well, as the family moved to the other side of the pond, they could see Miss Elizabeth, the mute swan, standing in her yard. She did not look happy. Oh, dear. And just imagine, we still have to ask her for our ball back, said Xander. Xander, Ava, and their family started building their new nest. This was actually a really great spot. It was probably better than their other location. It had a beautiful view of the sunset, and it was nice and dry, but it was really close to the water. It was just, wow, this was a great spot. Except it was right next to Miss Elizabeth. Oh, dear. All right, kids. Why don't you guys go play for a little bit while we finish working on the nest? Just put your things down here. Xander and Ava put all their things down in a pile right next to where they were starting to build the nest and went off to play. You know what this means, right? Said Xander. I do. It's time to go talk to Miss Elizabeth. Ava led the way towards Miss Elizabeth's nest. As Xander followed closely behind, Ava (sighs) took a deep breath and called out for Miss Elizabeth. Hello, Miss Elizabeth. Uh, My name's Ava and this is Xander. Are, Are you in there? Leave me alone and go, said the voice from inside Miss Elizabeth's nest. We're so sorry to bother you, said Xander, but our ball bounced into your yard and we did just move over here. So we're neighbors now and we just need our ball back. Is that okay? I don't see a ball in my yard. You must be mistaken. Now go. Xander and Ava were both very sad. Their very special bright red ball had definitely bounced over here, but... It's true. They don't know. They didn't know where it went. Hold on a second, you two. Uh, come back here. Come on in. Was that Miss Elizabeth? Said Ava. Yes, I, I think it was. Okay, uh, we're coming in. Shouted Xander. Xander and Ava hopped up to the nest. It was a very, very large nest, much bigger than theirs. And there she was, Miss Elizabeth, the mute swan. Who remembers what color the mute swan is? Yes, she's white and has a pair of some beautiful black sunglasses. You see, I I didn't see the ball earlier, but 
It's actually right here. Miss Elizabeth stood up, and underneath her was a whole bunch of eggs. Wow. Oh, and there's the ball next to the egg. That is why I didn't see it before. It's because I just, I thought it was an egg, but now I see it's red. And that's not one of my eggs, so please take the ball away. Oh my, we're so, so sorry, said Ava. We didn't know that you had eggs here, and we're so sorry that our ball bounced in here. We'll, we'll make sure it never happens again. Well, it's okay. I understand accidents happen, and yes, I am protecting my eggs because there's lots of creatures that want to eat them, and that's why I have to be very firm to make sure nobody comes in my nest said Miss Elizabeth. Xander and Ava looked at each other and realized, wait a second, Miss Elizabeth is actually a lot nicer than they thought. Wait a second, maybe she's not being grouchy. She's just protecting her eggs, like from the foxes. And she's just, oh, it all makes sense. We are so sorry, Miss Elizabeth, said Ava. We just had our nest destroyed by the foxes, and so we totally understand is there any way that we can help? Could we help you protect the eggs? Miss Elizabeth's whole face shifted. What had once started as what looked like a grouchy swan, she started to smile and said, Oh my, no one has ever offered to help me protect my eggs before, but I would most certainly love that. Over the next several days, while Ava and Xander's nest was being built by their family, they were able to help Miss Elizabeth in keeping away the fox. They were very good at making loud noises, which would scare the fox away. And pretty soon, crack, crack. Oh, the eggs, they're hatching, shouted Xander. Oh boy, my two, you, you two have been so amazing. Such good friends you are and... Such great protectors away from that mean old fox. And now, I might need a few babysitters. What do you think? We would love to! Shouted Xander and Ava. Wow! What an awesome story! And, wow, we totally got Miss Elizabeth wrong. She wasn't grouchy. She was actually really nice. She was only just protecting her eggs and was completely misunderstood. Wow! Do you know what it means to be misunderstood? You see, Miss Elizabeth, she was only trying to protect her eggs, but everyone around the pond thought that she was actually just being mean and grouchy. But they just didn't understand what she was trying to actually do because I think everyone was too afraid to talk to her. So that's a really important lesson. Sometimes we might be understood. Sometimes people might not understand me and you. Or sometimes... Maybe we might not understand others. So it's always good to ask questions and to offer help because oftentimes people are just looking for a friend, just like Miss Elizabeth. The end. Wow, wasn't that an awesome adventure? I'm so glad that Xander and Ava were able to get over their fear of Miss Elizabeth and find out that she just actually needed some help. All right, who remembers what color Xander and Ava's ball was? Was it purple or red? Yes, it was a red ball. And what was one thing about their new nest location that made it really great? Was it it was next to their favorite restaurant? Or they could see the sunset now. Yes, they could see the sunset now. Great job. Well, my friends, I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye. <laughs>